Sorry, I just jumped down from a ladder. My name is Douglas Thompson. I'm an airsoft gun tech, and you're probably gonna be looking at the back of my head a little bit. I'm gonna try to work from the side here. If you look at my arms, just to explain, this is stained because I've been doing some cabinet work. Um, and I'm also sunburned. So anyway, so I'm gonna start off showing you my airsoft gun collection um, for this month of April. And I'm gonna start off with this Frankenstein gun, which I'm actually trying to sell. There is absolutely nothing special about this gun other than it's from various different companies, you know, parts from various different companies. Um, and it's a piece of crap. <laughs> so let's, uh, let's move on from this. Okay. We got the L85 A2 carbine length by ICS. And this is an AEG. It has modifications both internally and externally. Um, the the biggest thing you'll notice probably is if you, if you hear the word carbine in the ICS L85, you're like, well, what about the handguard? The handguard is usually a shorter handguard, and uh, you know the, the shorter barrel. But I actually just converted it to where like it accepts the the standard length handguard, and I guess that's really the only external modification besides uh, adding like a Picatinny rail up there. I, I had the one made by ICS actually on here, but I, I, I made some modifications and put it towards my gas blowback version of this gun. This is a great gun. It has served me well. I use it now as my primary backup, not my primary, but my primary backup because I do have other backups as well, but if anything fails in the field, I whip this out and then I'm good to go. It's not as satisfying to shoot because it's an AEG, but it is still a great performing gun. And out of the box, it shoots anywhere from 350 to 400 feet per second with the stock spring. It has a quick change spring system, uh, proprietary to ICS, and it's the best quick change spring system I've ever um, used and it also has a special gearbox that's not mounted in the gun really so much as you just pop these two body pins out separate the receivers pull the gearbox out you're good to go you can start working on it immediately it's a great gun just a cheap little red dot on top nothing special we shall move on next up we got this is a new gun I got and it's a gas blowback I'm actually selling this, so I'm not going to have it in my possession for for long. But um, if you watched the video previously, I made previously with the unboxing of the the Wax W O C not W A L K, it originally included this rail, which uh, I don't know the company that makes this, um, but it's a PWS. MK112, and I really like this rail design. It's too bad uh, it didn't fit on the, the other one because the, the threads were not correct. It had a different thread pattern. But um, I, I put the, the regular front end <coughs> on this gun because I'm selling it, and my friend that's purchasing it from me, he likes to put on his, all of his own stuff. So I'm just, I just gave it to him, or um, I'm going to sell it to him in his basic, most basic form. He can upgrade the stock. All the externals, put whatever sight system he wants on there. He can, you know, put a quad rail in front. But I'm going to keep this for a future project, and I'll make sure and update you whenever I include it in, you know, in a build. But I, I will definitely use this. Um, so to get to the details of the gun, it is a gas blowback, like I said. Everything's fu uh, fully functional. Um, it's waiting for a new piston, actually, so it's not a in firing order. It does fire, but it doesn't load because the the um, loading nozzle is broken, but it's a gas blowback as you can see. And um, I'll fire, I'll again, dry fire it, not with a magazine, but just so you can hear the, the nice clank of the hammer hitting the the um, firing pin. Uh, gotta love that sound, like metal on metal. I'll give you a close look at the trades. I'm not sure if you can see that, but it, it is a, a Navy SEAL. Lower receiver, 
And th this this side is actually why I'm not really interested in it. I'm not really into the whole Punisher um, logo, whatever you want to call it. I hope you can see that. I think that's lined up properly. Um, it's a it's a cool gun. I it's really lightweight for what it is. I'm pretty sure it's an aluminum upper and lower receiver, similar to maybe not the same construction as as a real one, you know, in terms of tolerances and whatnot. But it's a uh, pretty close to to weight, and it's got the you know the slimmer pistol grip because it's gas blowback. It doesn't need room for that uh that motor in there. The regular LE stock, you know, front end is a, is stock. Cool gun, but it's going to be out of my hands soon, and uh, let's move on. Next up, we have the MP7 by KWA, and it's a cool little gun. I've done reviews on, on almost all these guns that I'm showing you today. I just wanted to give you an update on, um, on my, just my updated collection. And I did, I did a little modification to this, a very small one. It's completely stock, other than this one thing I did. And I'll, I'll show you really quick. Grab a tool here. Just grab a punch or something. These, uh, these body pins. So this gun is not one-to-one -one scale. So there, there's some things about it that are not lar as large as they should be. But if you notice, there's two holes at the end of the stock here. And we'll take this off and remove this so you can get a closer look really quick. If you see those two holes, and I don't know if that's centered, um, I drilled them out actually so they can accept the body pins. And when you're working out on the field, you know, they're not going to fall out. Um, you shouldn't have to work on, on it on the field, but if you have to, if you got like a jam and you have to take it apart really quick, you know, you just pop those in there. Good to go. Um, I think it's a really practical thing to do. It's really easy to do. Just you know, anyone with a drill, and a, you know, the appropriate size drill bit can perform this uh, task. I think it's a, a worthwhile little little modification. And you know, a lot of people have been making stock modifications, so it has different positions. Like these notches, they, they'll grind out more notches. But really, I like it in the all the way um, back position, like this or if I'm playing with it as a pistol, all the way forward, you know. Pistol sights, battle sights, you know. So, great gun, and it's shooting around 430 feet per second right now. I'm not going to go over all the details of all the guns, but just to let you know that this, this small package can be pretty effective as a field gun. So, and just to show you with the magazine in it. Fully loaded. Show you what it looked like in in game. And there you go. Let's put this bad boy up. I'll just leave it. No, can set the side for now. Okay. Next up, we got the GMP Walk Magpul Edition. It's a challenge kit. This is um, my new second favorite gun. It has a Magpul low receiver. Magpul angled four grip generation one, Magpul um, pistol grip, Magpul stock, uh, Magpul flip up sights, and I think that's it. it uh, it's got anti rotational pins, so they don't pop out while you're shooting. And this is actually a, you know, a, not really a problem, but it's a, it happens quite frequently when when you're in game. Like these pins will kind of wobble loose. Um, fl flip up iron sights are cool. There, I don't have them zeroed in yet. I haven't really got too much time with this gun. I've, I've had it in one game so far, and it worked great. No, no, uh, no problems. I actually created a, not a, a flash hider, but a loudener to make this gun louder and more intimidating to the my airsoft foes, and it actually is, is quite effective. I'll give it a little test fire here in a second and show you what it what it's a. Uh, what it's doing. Um, I'll actually test fire right now. And this mag looks good. Just load it up with a little bit. Um, you'll want to, if this were loaded with a, with a BB, you know, or with BBs, you'll want to pull the 
um, the bolt carrier back and, and then push on the uh, the bolt release to hold it on the bottom of the bolt release to hold it open and I just hit the bolt release in the hand <laughs> okay let me try this one more time okay I'm not gonna put my hand there I'm gonna put it up here okay slap the magazine in looks pretty cool right bolt forward and you, like for dry fire you have to hold it forward but let's see if we can get this in there some semi some full auto and the gas is pretty much out but uh, you get the get the idea and due to the compression on on the phone that you're listening to you probably can't hear um, how loud that is because it's it's ducking in and out but it's pretty loud um, in real life and when you're on the other receiving end of the the loudener it's actually pretty pretty loud um, this is a Knights Armament rail system I stole it off of one of the AEGs I, I previously owned and sold um, not sure why that uh, flash just went off let's see what's going on here Okay, I guess uh, the flash just turned off for some reason. I'm not sure if it's still recording anymore. Let me check. Yeah, I guess it is. Okay, sorry for that awkward pause. But my Galaxy S4 is a piece of crap. I hate that phone. So let's continue on. And this is a cool gun. Um, nothing else I can really say about it besides uh, it's got all upgraded internals, all steel internals. Um, except for the bolt, and I, I got a steel bolt carrier, I'm going to order that soon, and a steel buffer, and an enhanced buffer spring, so um, get more recoil. Okay. And last but not least, last but, you know, this is my, my primary, and it's an WeTech L85 gas blowback. I have an RA Tech steel bolt carrier, RA Tech hammer, RA Tech trigger, um, RA Tech firing pin or valve striker, whatever. Uh, actually, the valve striker does not make contact with the magazine. I should clarify. Um, it doesn't take a standard M4 valve striker. It's impossible to find. That's the biggest complaint I have right now is I can't upgrade the valve striker or the valve delayer. If you're familiar with those things, are. Um, anyway, some changes I've made to the gun. I, I have a Added some iron sights, they flip up as well. And uh, this is an Aimpoint Micro T1 replica. It's not the real thing because I don't want to spend you know hundreds of dollars on a sight that's you know doesn't need to be that great. Um, got a new black angled foregrip AFG angled foregrip uh, by Magpul, and I think it you know makes the gun look a little bit meaner than the tan one I had on there. I have a you know the Gen 2 as well, but I prefer the Gen 1 um, just because I, I like the little bit of extra lip it gives you to hang on to. Also made, um, actually out of the other half of the, su the suppressor I just cut in half, I made a, another loudener for this. Um, luckily one side was um, counterclockwise threads and, and the other side was clockwise threads, so I actually just cut it in half and, and put the counterclockwise on my LED5 and then the clockwise on the, the GMP Magpul walk because it fit perfectly. So um, I put the, the larger um, loudener on this one because I, I wanted this one to be more my primary, my meaner gun. I actually had some comments about it on my, my last time I played Airsoft. Um, some, some people walked up to me and they were really impressed with how loud it was and how intimidated they were by it. And they... The one guy actually walked up and, and, and thought I was using a real gun. Like, I mean, he, he was like a 38-year-old man. I'm not sure why he would he would say that. But he was probably just joking around. But now normally you'd pull the bolt back and, and lock it, but I don't have um, those parts in here. So um, give you an example of the gun shooting. You can see that. Let's see if you can get one shot. You can't really shoot at once because there's no uh, semi-automatic. It's fully automatic only because um, I had to rip those internals out to make 
begun to work, unfortunately. But uh, full auto is cool. It's um, definitely more satisfying to shoot than any other gun I've ever shot, you know, besides real guns. But in terms of airsoft guns, the most satisfying. I, I fully recommend this gun. It takes a little bit of work to make it reliable, but after you upgrade the internals and get everything how you want it, it's a great gun. Um, I'm ending on this. And I hope you've enjoyed the video, and hopefully that awkward pause in the middle doesn't make you hate me. Anyway, again, my name is Douglas Thompson, and if you have any questions, feel free to ask, and um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you.